Hello. So this is the Korg NTS-1. It's a tiny digital synthesizer, but what's really interesting is the fact that it has an SDK uh, and you can write custom oscillator code and various other things. So I was really curious about it and I wanted to learn how to do that. Um, but first we're gonna assemble the synth and then set up the development environment for it. Let's do it. Now that my little friends have prepared everything, assembling the NTS-1 should be really easy, and they even included a tiny little screwdriver. Once the bottom of the case is assembled, carefully peel and place the keyboard controller on the top panel. And don't forget to pull the little tab before inserting the connector. Then connect the two boards together, attach to the case, and close with the front and back panels. Finally, add the little rubber feet to the bottom, and we're done. Okay, so now that the NTS-1 is assembled, uh, let's figure out what we need to do to install the SDK and start developing for it. So, i uh, just got this here. Best thing is to do that. All right, so this is the important thing. SDK on GitHub, I'm gonna put that here. This is the uh, API reference. Uh, and here is the librarian, which we're going to need to install uh, any code that we have onto the um, device. Uh oh, so that's not good. One librarian, which is going to be over here. Boom. Let it download. The librarian over here. And boop, this is what it looks like. Okay, so for the SDK, uh, let's. Clone, so it's downloading um, and cloning the SDK from the GitHub repository. Okay, so now that we have this, uh, so let's see what's here in the, the SDK. Uh, there's a bunch of different things. Uh, first thing we should do is probably install all of the tools that are needed. Uh, and it's actually pretty well done in the sense that you can just go into each of these directory for one for each tools and uh, they have a script to install this. So I'm gonna get the get GCC OS 10 because I'm on the Mac. Just gonna wait for this to download and install. There we go. So we have GCC, which is the compiler. Log SDK command line. Do the same thing, run this here. Downloading and installing, that was super fast. Run, make. So going back here. So there's four kinds of um, development that you can do or four kinds of plugins that you can do for um, the NTS-1. Uh, first one is a custom oscillator. Uh, second one is a custom uh, modulation effects, uh, custom uh, delay effects, and a custom reverb effects. And each of those have a section that we're going to test that. And there's also a nice little demo here of the um, Waves uh, custom oscillator. So let's make sure that we can have everything installed and that we can compile the Waves effect uh, and install it onto the um, new tech. All right, um, so these are the various uh, sort of files that we have. So we have a make file, uh, which we shouldn't really have to touch. Uh, the manifest, which basically is where you declare what type of uh, plugin uh, you're writing, the version number and various other things like this. Um, the actual sort of uh, project customization file, the actual C++ file. So the development um, environment is C++, so you have the CPP file and the HPP file. Um, so if I go back to my example here, just let's make sure that it can compile. And all you have to do to compile it is type make. And there we go. And it creates here the Waves uh, NTK uh, unit. Uh, so that's the actual file that we have to upload to the NTS-1. So let's go back to our librarian. There we go. Uh, so this is what on board, I actually sort of already did this before I record this video. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take a slot one. So as I was saying, so user oscillators, modulation effects, user delays and user reverbs. And there's a various place on the internet where you can sort of either buy or download free ones. So let's just make sure that our tool chain is working. Um, and we have our file over here open and installing it into the third slot. And then we can send that file 
onto the device. All right, so now it should be over here. Take a look at it. Um, so if I go to oscillator, these are the built-in oscillator. And we have the first one, so that's slot one. Two is the test. And slot three is waves again. So that's exactly what we have here. Excellent. All right, so this is all I'm gonna do for now. But on the next video, uh, I'm gonna try to actually write my own, which is gonna be interesting because I haven't done C++ in a very long time.